Hello everyone, welcome back to my course, Learn Hindi Through English. Today we are going to study Vyanjan or consonants in details. Today we are going to learn and practice how to speak the letters that come under consonants. So here in the first row or group, we see the first letter that we see here is K. It is K. The next one that we see here is K. It is K. Let's go to the next one. The next letter is G. The next letter is G. Then is G. We have G. And the last one in the first row is Ang. It is Ang. So the first one is K. Then is K. Then we have G. Then is G. And the last one is Ang. Now let's go to the second row or the second group. The first one that we see in the second group or second row is ch. It is ch. The next one is ch. It is ch. The one next to ch is j. It is j. The next one is j. It is j. And the last one of the second row is near. It is near. So let's repeat the second row. The first one is ch. The second one is ch. Then is j. Then we have j. And the last one that we see here in the second row is near. Let's go to the third row. The first letter that we see in the third row is t. It is t. Then we have t. It is t. Then we have d. It is d. Then the fourth one is d. It is d. And the last one of the third row is ana. It is ana. Let's go to the fourth row. The first letter that we see here is t. It is t. The next one is th. It is th. The letter after that is d. It is d. Then we have dh. Dh. And then the last one is n. It is n. Let's go to the fifth row. The first letter that we see here in the fifth row is P. It is P. Then we have F. It is F. Then we have B. It is B. Then the next one is B. It is B. And the last one of the fifth row is M. It is M. Let's go to the sixth row now. The first letter that we see here is Y. It is Y. The next one is R. It is R. The next one is L. It is L. The next one is V. It is V. And then we have SH. It is SH. So let's repeat. The first one is Y. Then we have R. Then is L. Then is V. And then is SH. And then is SH. So in the sixth row, we have Y. We have Y. Then is R. Then is R. The next letter is L. It is L. Then we have V. It is V. 
and then the last one is sh it is sh in this row let's go to the seventh row in the seventh row we can see another sh so this is also sh then we have s we have s and then we have h we have h so in the seventh row we have sh we have s and then we have h now comes the eighth row which is the last row the first letter in the eighth row is ch it is ch then we have tr it is tr and the last one is g it is g so let's repeat the last row it is ch then is tr and then is g i hope this is clear to you in this lesson i have divided the consonants into groups the first group or the first row has the following letters the first letter that we see here is k it is k then we have k we have k the next letter is g it is g then we have gh it is gh and the last letter of the first group is ang it is ang i will be explaining this in details with examples now so in the first group the first letter that we see here is k let's repeat it is k in the first picture we can see a lotus a lotus in hindi is called kamal it is called kamal in the next picture we can see a pigeon a pigeon in hindi is called kabootar it is called kabootar repeat with me it is called kabootar if we go to the third picture we can see a banana a banana in hindi is called kela it is called kela so in the first picture we can see a lotus which is kamal in the next picture we can see a pigeon which is called kabootar in hindi and in the third picture we can see a banana which is called kela it is called kela in hindi so here all these three objects begin with the letter k now let's go to the next letter the next letter is kh it is kh in the first picture we can see a rabbit which is called khargosh it is called khargosh in hindi in the next picture we can see a window it is called khidki it is called khidki so what is it called it is called khidki in hindi in the third picture we can see dates it is called khajur it is called khajur in hindi so in the first picture we can see a rabbit which is called khargosh it is called khargosh in the next picture we can see a window which is called khidki it is called khidki and in the third picture we can see dates which is called khajur which is called khajur in hindi so all these three objects start with the letter kh now let's go to the third letter of the first group the third letter that we see here in the first group is g it is g in the first picture we can see a rose which is called gulab in hindi it is called gulab 
In the next picture, we can see a carrot, which is called gajar in Hindi. It is called gajar in Hindi. And in the third picture, and in the third picture, we can see a donkey, which is called gadha, which is called gadha in Hindi. So, in the first picture, we can see a rose, which is called gulab. In the second picture, we can see a carrot, which is called gajar. It is called gajar. And in the third picture, we can see a donkey, which is called gadha, which is called gadha in Hindi. All these three objects begin with the letter G. The next letter that we see here is G. It is G. In the first picture, we can see a home which is called Ghar in Hindi. It is called Ghar. It is called Ghar. In the second picture, we can see a watch which is called Ghadi. It is called Ghadi in Hindi. Now let's go to the third picture. The third picture we can see a horse which is called Ghoda which is called Ghoda in Hindi. So in the first picture we can see a home which is Ghar. It is Ghar. In the second picture we can see a watch. It is Ghadi and in the third picture, we can see a horse, which is Ghoda. So, all these three objects begin with the letter Gh. Now, let's go to the last letter that comes under the first group. The, the last letter that comes under the first group is Anga. It is Anga. Here, in this picture, we can see a kite, which is Patang. It is Patang in Hindi. In Hindi, no word begins with the letter Ang, but it can be used in words. I hope these five letters with examples are clear to you. The second group includes the following letters. The first one is Ch. It is Ch. The next one is Ch. It is ch. Then we have j. It is j. Then we have j. It is j. And the last letter in the second group or row is near. It is near. Now let me explain these letters in details with examples. The first letter that we see here in the second group is CH. It is CH. Here in the first picture we can see a spoon which is called CHAMMACH. It is called CHAMMACH in Hindi. In the next picture we can see a mat which is called CHATAI. It is called CHATAI in Hindi. If we go to the third picture, we can see slippers. It is called chappal. It is called chappal in Hindi. So, in the first picture, we can see a spoon which is chammach. It is chammach. In the next picture, we can see a mat which is chatai. It is chatai. And in the third picture, we can see slippers which is chappal. It is chappal. In Hindi, all these three objects begin with the letter CH. Now let's go to the next letter. The next letter that we see here is CH. It is CH. In the first picture, we can see an umbrella. It is called Chhatri. It is called Chhatri in Hindi. So what is it called? It is called Chhatri. In Hindi. If we go to the next picture, we can see a glass of buttermilk. Buttermilk in Hindi is called chach. It is called chach. In the third picture, we can see a student. 
स्टूडेंट इन हिंदी इज कॉल्ड छात्र इट इज कॉल्ड छात्र सो इन द फर्स्ट पिक्चर वी कैन सी एन अम्ब्रेला विच इज कॉल्ड छत्री इन द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर वी कैन सी बटर मिल्क विच इज कॉल्ड छाछ एंड इन द थर्ड पिक्चर वी कैन सी अ स्टूडेंट विच इज कॉल्ड छात्र इन हिंदी ऑल दीज थ्री ऑब्जेक्ट बिगिन विद द लेटर छ इन हिंदी If we go to the next letter, the next letter that we see here is J. It is J. In the first picture, we can see a ship, which is called Jahaj. It is called Jahaj in Hindi. So, ship is called Jahaj in Hindi. In the next picture, we can see a jug. In Hindi, also it is called jug. In the third picture, we can see water, which is called jal in Hindi. So, in the first picture, we can see a ship, which is jahaj. In the second picture, we can see a jug, which is called jug in Hindi. And in the third picture, we can see water, which is called jal in Hindi. All these three objects begin with the letter j. Now let's go to the third letter, which is j. It is j. In the first picture, we can see a flag, which is called jhanda in Hindi. What is it called? It is called jhanda in Hindi. In the next picture, we can see a waterfall, which is called jharna. It is called jharna. In Hindi. In the third picture, we can see a hut, which is called Jhopadi. It is called Jhopadi in Hindi. So, in the first picture, we can see a flag, which is called Jhanda. It is called Jhanda. In the second picture, we can see a waterfall, which is called Jharna. It is called Jharna. And in the third picture, we can see a hut. Which is called Jhopadi. It is called Jhopadi. All these three objects begin with the letter J. Now let's go to the last letter, which comes in the second group or the second row. The last letter that we see here of the second group is near. It is near. In this picture, we can see marbles, which is called. Kanche in Hindi. It is called Kanche in Hindi. In Hindi, no word begins with near, but it can be used in words. I hope the second group is clear to you. In my third video, I will be explaining the third group of consonants. So keep learning and keep practicing the Hindi letters and their examples. Thank you. In the third group, we have the following letters. The first one is T. It is T. The next one is T. It is T. Then we have D. It is D. Then is D. It is D. And the last letter in the third group is Ana. It is ana. Now I will be explaining the third group of consonants in details with examples. The first letter that we see in the third group is t. It is t. In the first picture, we can see a tomato, which is called tamater. It is called tamater in Hindi. In the next picture, we can see a cap, which is called topi. It is called topi in Hindi. If we go to the third picture, we can see a twig, which is called tahani. It is called tahani. So, in the first picture, we can see a tomato, which is tamater. It is t. 
tomatar in the next picture we can see a cap which is topi it is topi and in the third picture we can see a twig which is called tahani it is called tahani in hindi all these three objects begin with the letter t now let's go to the next letter it is th the letter that we see here is th in the first picture we can see a cart which is called thela it is called thela in hindi in the next picture we can see a swindler which is called thug in hindi it is called thug in hindi repeat with me it is called thug in hindi in the third picture we can see a coppersmith which is called thathera it is called thathera in hindi what is it called it is called thathera in hindi so in the first picture we can see a cart which is called thela in the next picture we can see a swindler which is called thug and in the third picture we can see a coppersmith which is called thathera in hindi all these three objects begin with the letter th now let's go to the next letter the next letter that we see here is d it is d in the first picture we can see a postman which is called dakia it is called dakia in hindi so what is it called it is called dakia in hindi in the next picture we can see a bread which is called double roti in hindi it is called double roti in hindi in the third picture we can see an instrument it is lord shiva's instrument and it is called damru it is called damru in hindi so in the first picture we can see a postman which is called dakia in the second picture we can see a bread which is called double roti it is called double roti and in the third picture we can see lord shiva's instrument which is called damru it is called damru in hindi so here all these three objects begin with the letter d now let's go to the next letter of the third group it is dh this is dh in the first picture we can see a lid which is called dhakna it is called dhakna in hindi in the next picture we can see a slope which is called dhalan in hindi a slope in hindi is called dhalan in the third picture we can see an instrument which is called dholak in hindi it is called dholak in hindi so so in the first picture we can see a lid which is called dhakna in the second picture we can see a slope which is called dhalan it is called dhalan and in the third picture we can see an instrument which is called dholak it is called dholak in hindi all these three objects begin with the letter dh now let's go to the last letter of the third group of consonants the letter that we see here is ana it is ana here in the first picture we can see a deer which is called hiran in hindi it is called hiran in the next picture we can see an arrow which is called baan it is called baan in hindi in the third picture we can see that a person is giving a loan to another person here loan means ran it means ran in hindi so all these three objects have ana in them in hindi no word begins with ana but it can be used in words
I hope the third group is clear to you now. In my next lesson, I will be explaining the fourth group of consonants. So, in the fourth group or in the fourth row, we have the following letters. The first one is T. It is T. The next one is TH. It is TH. Then is D. It is D. Then we have DH. It is DH. And the last letter in the fourth group is N. It is N. So now let's study the fourth group of letters in details with examples. The first letter that we see here in the fourth group is T. It is T. In the first picture we can see a watermelon. It is called Tarbuj. It is called Tarbuj in Hindi. So let's repeat. It is called Tarbuj in Hindi. In the next picture we can see a pillow. Pillow in Hindi is called Takiya. It is called Takiya. So what is pillow called in Hindi? It is called Takiya. Now let's go to the third picture. In the third picture we can see a butterfly. Butterfly in Hindi is called Titli. It is called Titli. So in the first picture watermelon is called Tarbuj. In the second picture pillow is called Takiya. And in the third picture butterfly is called Titli. It is called Titli. In Hindi, all these three objects begin with the letter T. Now let's go to the next letter. The next letter after T is TH. It is TH. In the first picture, what we see here is a plate. A plate in Hindi is called Thali. It is called Thali. So let's repeat. A plate in Hindi is called Thali. Now if we go to the next picture, we can see a bag. A bag in Hindi is called Thela. It is called Thela. So let's repeat. It is called Thela. Now if we go to the third picture, we can see a thermometer. A thermometer in Hindi is called Tharma meter. So in the first picture we can see a plate which is called Thali. In the second picture a bag is called a Thela. It is called a Thela. And in the third picture a thermometer is called Tharma meter. All these three objects begin with the letter Th. Now let's go to the next letter. The next letter of the fourth group is D. It is D. In the first picture we can see medicine. Medicine in Hindi is called Dawai. It is called Dawai. So let's repeat. Medicine in Hindi is called Dawai. Now in the next picture we can see a bottle of milk. Milk in Hindi is called Dood. It is called Dood. If we go to the third picture, we can see a door. Door in Hindi is called Darwaza. It is called Darwaza. So in the first picture, medicine in Hindi is called Dawai. It is called Dawai. In the second picture, we can see milk, which is called Dood. It is called Dood. And in the third picture, we can see a door, which is called Darwaza. It is called Darwaza in Hindi. All these three objects begin with the letter D. The next letter that we see here is Dh. It is 
ध इन द फर्स्ट पिक्चर वी कैन सी अ बो अ बो इन हिंदी इज कॉल्ड धनुष इट इज कॉल्ड धनुष इफ वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट पिक्चर वी कैन सी मनी मनी इन हिंदी इज कॉल्ड धन इट इज कॉल्ड धन सो लेट्स रिपीट इट इज कॉल्ड धन If we go to the third picture, we can see the earth. Earth in Hindi is called dharti. It is called dharti. So in the first picture, we can see a bow which is called dhanush. It is called dhanush in Hindi. In the second picture, we can see money. Money in Hindi is called dhan. And in the third picture. we can see the earth which is called dharti which is called dharti in hindi all these three objects begin with the letter dh the last letter of the fourth group or the fourth row is n it is n in the first picture we can see a tap which is called nal in hindi it is called nal in the second picture we can see a coconut coconut in hindi is called nariyal it is called nariyal so let's repeat it is called nariyal if we go to the third picture we can see a river river in hindi is called nadi it is called nadi so in the first picture we can see a tap which is called nal in the second picture we can see a coconut which is called nariyal and in the third picture we can see a river which is called nadi which is called nadi in hindi all these three objects begin with the letter n I hope the fourth group of consonants is very clear to you now. In my next video, I will be explaining the fifth group or the fifth row of consonants. So the fifth group or the fifth row has the following letters. The first one is p. The first one is p. Then is f. It is f. Then is b. It is b then we have bh it is bh then we have m m is the last letter of the fifth group or the fifth row of consonants today we will be studying the fifth group of letters in details with examples so let's begin the first letter that we see here in the fifth group is p it is p in the first picture we can see a papaya papaya in hindi is called papita it is called papita if we go to the next picture we can see a fan fan in hindi is called pankha it is called pankha so let's repeat fan in hindi is called pankha In the third picture we can see a tree. Tree in Hindi is called ped. It is called ped. So a tree in Hindi is called ped. Let's repeat. A tree in Hindi is called ped. So in the first picture we can see a papaya which is called papita. In the second picture we can see a fan which is called pankha. it is called pankha and in the third picture we can see a tree which is called ped in hindi all these three objects begin with the letter p now let's go to the next letter the next letter of the fifth group is f it is f this is f in the first picture we can see fruits fruits in hindi is called phal it is called phal so let's repeat fruits in hindi is called phal 
If we go to the next picture, we can see a flower. Flower in Hindi is called Fool. It is called Fool. If we go to the third picture, we can see Hawkers. Hawker in Hindi is called Fairy Wala. It is called Fairy Wala. So, in the first picture, we can see a fruit which is called Fal. It is called Fal. In the next picture, we can see a flower. Flower in Hindi is called Fool. It is called Fool. And in the third picture, we can see Hawker. Hawker in Hindi is called Fairy Wala. It is called Fairy Wala. All these three objects begin with the letter F. Now the next letter that we see here is B. It is B. In the first picture, we can see a cloud. Cloud in Hindi is called Badal. It is called Badal. In the second picture, we can see a brinjal. Brinjal is called Bangan in Hindi. It is called Bangan. And in the third picture, we can see a monkey. Monkey in Hindi is called Bandar. It is called Bandar. So let's repeat. Monkey in Hindi is called Bandar. So in the first picture, we can see a cloud which is called Badal. In the second picture, we can see a brinjal which is called Bangan. So brinjal in Hindi is called Bangan. And in the third picture, we can see a monkey which is called Bandar. It is called Bandar. All these three objects begin with the letter B. The next letter that we see here is B. It is B. In the first picture, we can see a bear. Bear in Hindi is called Bhalu. It is called Bhalu. Let's repeat. It is called Bhalu. In the next picture, we can see food. Food in Hindi is called Bhojan. It is called Bhojan. Now in the next picture, we can see God. God in Hindi is called Bhagawan. It is called Bhagawan. So in the first picture, we can see a bear which is called Bhalu. It is called Bhalu. In the next picture, we can see food. Food in Hindi is called Bhojan. It is called Bhojan. And in the third picture, we can see God. God in Hindi is called Bhagawan. It is called Bhagawan. So all these three objects begin with the letter B. Now the last letter of the fifth group of consonants is M. It is M. In the first picture, we can see a fish. Fish in Hindi is called Machli. It is called Machli. So let's repeat. Fish in Hindi is called Machli. In the second picture, we can see radish. Radish in Hindi is called Mooli. It is called Mooli. In the third picture, we can see a mother. Mother in Hindi is called Ma. So in the first picture, we can see a fish. Fish in Hindi is called Machli. In the second picture, we can see radish. Radish in Hindi is called Mooli. And in the third picture, we can see a mother. Mother in Hindi is called Ma. All these three objects begin with the letter Ma. I hope now the fifth group of consonants is very clear to you as it is explained with examples. In my next lesson, we'll be studying the sixth group of consonants or Vyanjan in details with examples. The sixth group or the sixth row includes the following consonants. The first one is year. 
it is y. The next one is r. It is r. Then we have l. It is l. Then we have v. It is v. And the last one in the sixth group of consonants is sh. It is sh. In this lesson, I'll be explaining the sixth group of consonants in details with examples. So let's begin. The first letter that we see here in the sixth group is y. It is y. In the first picture, we can see a traveler which is called yatri. It is called yatri in Hindi. If we go to the next picture, we can see a lady doing yoga. So this is yoga. Yoga in Hindi is called yog. It is called yog. So let's repeat. Yoga in Hindi is called yog. If we go to the third picture, we can see a gadget. Gadget in Hindi is called yantra. It is called yantra. So, in the first picture, we can see a traveler, which is called yatri. A traveler in Hindi is called yatri. In the second picture, we can see a lady doing yoga. Yoga in Hindi is called yog. It is called yog. And in the third picture, we can see a gadget. Gadget in Hindi is called yantra. It is called yantra. So, all these three objects begin with the letter year. Now let's go to the next letter. The next letter that we see here is R. It is R. In the first picture, we can see a handkerchief. Handkerchief in Hindi is called Rumal. It is called Rumal. In the next picture, what we see here is night. Night in Hindi is called Raat. It is called Raat. In the third picture, we can see a glass of juice. Juice in Hindi is called Ras. It is called Ras. So, in the first picture, we can see a handkerchief. Handkerchief in Hindi is called Rumal. It is called Rumal. In the second picture, we can see night. Night in Hindi is called Raat. It is called Raat. And in the third picture, we can see a glass of juice. So, juice in Hindi is called Ras. Let's repeat. Juice in Hindi is called Ras. All these three objects begin with the letter R. Let's go to the next letter. The next letter that we see here is L. It is L. In the first picture, we can see wave. Wave in Hindi is called Lahar. It is called Lahar. What is it called? It is called Lahar in Hindi. In the next picture, we can see wood. Wood in Hindi is called Lakadi. It is called Lakadi. So, let's repeat. Wood in Hindi is called Lakadi. Now, let's go to the third picture. In the third picture, we can see garlic. Garlic in Hindi is called Lahasun. It is called Lahasun. So, in the first picture, we can see wave. Wave in Hindi is called Lahar. It is called Lahar. In the second picture, we can see wood. Wood in Hindi is called Lakadi. It is called Lakadi. And in the third picture, we can see garlic. Garlic in Hindi is called Lahasun. It is called Lahasun. So, all these three objects begin with the letter L. The next letter that we see here is V. It is V. In the first picture, we can see a forest. Forest in Hindi is called Van. It is called Van. In the next picture, we can see a lawyer. Lawyer in Hindi is called Vakil. It is called Vakil. So let's repeat. Lawyer in Hindi is called Vakil. 
If we go to the third picture, we can see rain. Rain in Hindi is called Varsha. It is called Varsha. So, in the first picture, we can see a forest. Forest in Hindi is called Van. It is called Van. In the next picture, we can see a lawyer. Lawyer in Hindi is called Vakil. It is called Vakil. And in the third picture, we can see rain. Rain in Hindi is called Varsha. It is called Varsha. So, all these three objects begin with the letter V. Now, let's go to the last letter of the sixth group. The last letter that we see here is SH. It is SH. In the first picture, we can see a lion. Lion in Hindi is called SHER. It is called SHER. In the next picture, we can see mirror. Mirror in Hindi is called SHISHA. It is called SHISHA. So, let's repeat. Mirror in Hindi is called SHISHA. In the third picture, we can see honey. Honey in Hindi is called SHAHAD. It is called SHAHAD. So, what is it called? It is called SHAHAD. So, in the first picture, we can see a lion. Lion in Hindi is called Sher. It is called Sher. In the next picture, we can see a mirror. Mirror in Hindi is called Shisha. It is called Shisha. And in the third picture, we can see honey. Honey in Hindi is called Shahad. It is called Shahad. All these three objects begin with the letter Sh. I hope now the sixth group of consonants with examples is very clear to you. The seventh group includes the following consonants. The first one is SH. It is SH. The next one is S. It is S. And the third one that we see here of the seventh group is H. It is H. I will be explaining the seventh group of consonants with examples in details. So, let's begin. Now, we have two shirts. In the sixth group, we had one shirt. And in the seventh group, we have another shirt. So, this is also shirt. So, let's repeat. This is shirt. In the first picture, we can see a hexagon. Hexagon in Hindi is called Shatkon. It is called Shatkon. So, hexagon in Hindi is called Shatkon. In the next picture, we can see Sixth. Sixth in Hindi is called Shashti. It is called Shashti. Now, in the third picture, we can see conspiracy. Conspiracy in Hindi is called Shadyantra. So, what is conspiracy called in Hindi? It is called Shadyantra. So, in the first picture, we can see a hexagon. Hexagon in Hindi is called Shatkon. It is called Shatkon. In the next picture, we can see sixth. Sixth in Hindi is called Shashti. It is called Shashti. And in the third picture, we can see conspiracy. Conspiracy in Hindi is called Shadyantra. It is called Shadyantra. So, all these three objects begin with this letter SH. If we go to the next letter, we can see SA. It is so, in the first picture, we can see a road. Road in Hindi is called Sadak. Road in Hindi is called Sadak. So, let's repeat. It is called Sadak. In the next picture, we can see an apple. 
Apple in Hindi is called Seb. It is called Seb. So what is apple called in Hindi? It is called Seb. In the third picture, we can see news. News in Hindi is called Samachar. It is called Samachar. So let's repeat. News in Hindi is called Samachar. So in the first picture, we can see road. Road in Hindi is called Sadak. In the next picture, we can see apple. Apple in Hindi is called Seb. It is called Seb. And in the third picture, we can see news. News in Hindi is called Samachar. It is called Samachar. So all these three objects begin with the letter Sir. Now the last letter of the seventh group is Her. It is her. In the first picture, we can see a hand. Hand in Hindi is called Hat. It is called Hat. So, what is hand called in Hindi? It is called Hat. In the next picture, we can see turmeric. Turmeric in Hindi is called Haldi. It is called Haldi. In the third picture, we can see an elephant. Elephant in Hindi is called Hathi. It is called Hathi. So let's repeat. Elephant in Hindi is called Hathi. So in the first picture, we can see a hand. Hand in Hindi is called Hath. It is called Hath. In the next picture, we can see turmeric. Turmeric in Hindi is called Haldi. It is called Haldi. And in the third picture, we can see an elephant. Elephant in Hindi is called Hathi. It is called Hathi. So all these three objects begin with the letter H. I hope now the seventh group of consonants is very clear. So the eighth group includes the following consonants. The first one is CH. It is ch. The next one is tr. It is tr. And the third one of the eighth group is gya. It is gya. So in this lesson, we'll be studying the eighth group of consonants with examples in details. So let's begin. So here, the first letter that we see of the eighth group is ch. It is ch. In the first picture, we can see a classroom. Classroom in Hindi is called kaksha. It is called kaksha. In the next picture, we can see forgiveness. Forgiveness in Hindi is called chama. It is called Chama. In the third picture, we can see an area. Area in Hindi is called Chetra. It is called Chetra. So in the first picture, we can see a classroom. Classroom in Hindi is called Kaksha. It is called Kaksha. In the second picture, we can see forgiveness. Forgiveness in Hindi is called Chama. It is called Chama. And in the third picture, we can see an area. Area in Hindi is called Chetra. It is called Chetra. So all these three objects begin with the letter Ch. The next letter that we see here is Tr. It is Tr. In the first picture, we can see a triangle. Triangle in Hindi is called Trikon. It is called Trikon. So what is triangle called in Hindi? It is called Trikon. In the next picture, we can see a trident. A trident in Hindi is called Trishul. It is called Trishul. In the third picture, we can see a house burning which is a tragedy. 
A tragedy in Hindi is called Trasadi. It is called Trasadi. So what is tragedy in Hindi called? It is called Trasadi. So in the first picture we can see a triangle. Triangle in Hindi is called Trikon. It is called Trikon. In the next picture we can see a tridane. Tridane in Hindi is called Trishul. It is called Trishul. And in the third picture we can see a tragedy. Tragedy in Hindi is called Trasadi. It is called Trasadi. So all these three objects begin with the letter Tra. Now the last letter of the eighth group of consonants is Gya. It is Gya. In the first picture we can see a holy fire. Holy fire in Hindi is called Yagya. It is called Yagya. In the next picture we can see a school. School in Hindi is called Gyanalaya. It is called Gyanalaya. So what is school called in Hindi? It is called Gyanalaya. In the third picture we can see a knowledgeable person. Knowledgeable person in Hindi is called Gyani. It is called Gyani. So what is knowledgeable person called in Hindi? It is called Gyani. So in the first picture we can see holy fire. It is called Yagya. It is called Yagya. In the next picture we can see a school. School in Hindi is called Gyanalaya. It is called Gyanalaya. And in the third picture we can see a knowledgeable person. Knowledgeable person in Hindi is called Gyani. It is called Gyani. I hope all the consonants and the examples are very clear to you now. In my next lesson, we will be studying simple sentences in Hindi using vowels and consonants. So keep revising vowels and consonants which we have studied till now. Keep learning and keep practicing. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't till now so that you don't miss out on the other videos and also click on the bell icon. Once you subscribe, please send me a mail on my official mail ID so that I can send you a free enrollment link for my complete course on Udemy. You can also buy the course on Udemy from the link provided in the description below.